So your ex-girlfriend is still reaching out to you after she said, I'm done with the relationship. She wanted to break up, but she's still reaching out to you by texting you, even calling you at times. And it's got you like, no, God, please, no, no, no. And of course, this can be very confusing and frustrating because you thought to yourself, okay, the relationship is over. We're going to go our separate ways. I'm not going to reach out. And I'm just going to respect the fact she doesn't want a relationship. But all of a sudden, she's seen how you're doing. She checks up on you. And she's hoping that you both can stay friends. Well, first off, remember, she wanted to break up with you. So I wouldn't even bother reaching out. I wouldn't respond. I wouldn't get my hopes up thinking that maybe she wants to get back together. No, she just wants to be friends. And don't accept friendship because at the end of the day, you were in a relationship with this person. And she said, I don't want anything to do with you anymore. So there is no middle ground here. You broke up. The relationship is done and over with. And you got to make sure you communicate that energy. So what is going on inside the mind of your ex-girlfriend? Well, there are three possibilities in my opinion. The first one is she doesn't want to face the consequences of her actions. The second one is she wants to remain friends. And the last one is she wants to keep you around in case the next relationship doesn't work out. So now that we have a general understanding of her intentions, what you need to do as a guy is stand up for yourself. Just say to her, hey, I don't want to be your friend at all. You decided you don't want to be with me anymore. There is no going back to being friends. We were never friends in the first place. So you got to set the record straight. You got to let her know up front that you're not going to tolerate this behavior. And that if she continues to text you and reach out, you got two options here. Either you ignore her or you just block her because you shouldn't put up with this behavior. She's manipulating you. She's confusing you. And she's putting you on an emotional roller coaster. And you don't need these distractions. You need to move forward as a man. You need to go after your purpose. You need to find somebody who actually will value you and wants to be in a relationship with you and committed to you. If she's just going to go back and forth like this, it's not worth your time or your energy. And the last thing I want to say on this subject is protect your emotional and mental well being. Because if you got a girl like this in your life who's putting you through, ups and downs. You're trying to figure out, hey, does she want to be with me? She's reaching out and I don't know her intentions. You need to watch out because your time's important. You should be moving forward. You should be accomplishing your goals. You shouldn't be worried about whether she's still interested or not. That is a waste of time. And as a man, it could affect your mental well-being and your emotional well-being. You don't have time to mess around, to goof off. Life is so short already. And if you spent a year with this person, two years, three years, whatever, amount of time you spent with her and it hasn't worked out, just move forward. It's not worth hoping that it's going to turn around or wishing that, you know, things get back to normal. Don't even waste another breath because your life's in front of you. You should be focusing on the things that are more important, like getting better as a man, accomplishing your dreams and making sure that you're leveling up each day. And if she's in the way, well, you need to make a decision because you don't got time to waste. And if she continues to go in this direction, I would just block her because it's really not worth your time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel. Love to hear your thoughts on how you handled a woman like this who kept reaching out. Also, go check out my other video where I talk about how to move on from your ex-girlfriend. And I'll see you in the next one.